Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. You can see in my shop today two different 2007 Sprinters. Both of them are 2500 CRDs. Both of them need work, but this is way more serious. In different video I showed you the Black Death happening already on the number three injector. You see that blackness, that build up, that shiny hardened stuff. And it's a little bit deep down there. So to create more space, I will remove the intake box and I will also remove this cabin air filter housing. Look at how much more space I have to work on this suddenly. So do you see how shining it is? You might think if you touch it you will get dirty, but you won't because some people compare it like some epoxy coating. This is actually super hardened and guess what? Just to unclip this, you cannot do that because it's completely baked. So I took the first item here, it's O'Reilly's carp and choke cleaner. And let's see if this is able to soften that hard epoxy-like or whatever baked surface. I applied it very carefully, very small amounts using this straw. So I sprayed it very carefully few times in 10 minutes. Let's see if that super hard matter, the layer, what it is doing. It's slowly actually coming off. So that so far I'm liking. Oh, that's good. Yep, it definitely softened. Oh, yeah. So look at it. Chunks of it, right? This is actually really good. I'm, I'm happy with this. Here is that ring on the return line. Fuel return line. That was fully baked like an epoxy. Right now it's nicely moving around. So, again, very carefully. Using other tools, let's see if it will go up. Oh yeah, success. This connector, electronic connector, actually is released. It's coming up. It just stuck. The carb cleaner, it's obviously very aggressive. So I will try immediately dry everything. And basically, somehow, if possible, put it on the side so I don't keep spraying on these parts. So I started the whole work like an hour ago. And you might think there's not much progress. But I'm actually extremely happy. Look, I can see all the way down. This is incredible. Being very careful. I don't want to damage anything with that aggressive carb cleaner. So I'm taking it easy. I don't want to dissolve anything. Because of that, I'm happy because I removed that gunk. It's nicely keeps sticking to those racks. So it's a tedious, slow work, but actually I'm pretty happy. This is a special system. Hopefully you see the detail. Do you see this collar which is rotating? You push on the top and you carefully lift the collar actually up. You are not pushing it away. You will lift this up, it will click and then you can lift the whole fitting. I will try to show it with using one hand. I'm not sure if it will be enough. Normally I will use two hands grabbing it this way. Let's see, maybe I can show it to you. So you lift that collar up while you are pushing in with the thumb. Oh, did you see that? 
yeah so this is how you disconnect these now i will turn on the one in the front that might be harder since it was so dirty here a quick look on these tips when the return line was put on the side hopefully you can see the detail of it there is a very tiny o-ring at the end always pay attention to that now that top nut on the rail the common rail which is right here it's a 18 millimeters okay now this contains super high pressure in it so i will always recommend you to protect yourself with gloves eyes and always put over that area a rag because if it sprays out the rag will stop it they are not hard to crack open just cover the area for a safety purpose all right it's crack open now the pressure is 100 percent gone i have this loose for the hand now i need to crack open this one the other one it's 17 up here be careful return line nipple so it's not so easy to maneuver the wrench here so always be careful so you don't break anything there's no more pressure in it so i don't need that rack there and i just carefully keep wrenching on it yeah baby that's it so now i should be able to take it off i can actually just remove it from injector ideally and not to get any dirt inside here i should be able to turn it up and just tighten it this way all right here you can see how I turned it up, just out of the way. Here is the injector and that top thread. You see the fuel, there's a fuel in it. So I want to cover that as soon as possible. I don't want to get any dust, dirt inside. Also, I will cover this end for the same reason. They are these rubber caps. You see the black one here and here is another one. So that will not let any dirt inside and the next step is loosen that holding clamp i'm showing it on the number two because there's no space to get there with the camcorder but there is the same holding clamp and the same bolt the tool for that bolt is torx t40 you can see I'm not using the short one because there's not enough space for this socket, right, this area. So you need, ideally, the longer one so you are not pushing on the side of the injector. Now be careful around these bolts. These bolts, we'll show it later, are made to stretch. There's a special torque procedure for those. So what I'm saying just handle those carefully yeah did you see that did you hear that pop not sure if you can see but no i'm the one who needs the space i believe the bolt gave up Again, you don't want to get it broken in the engine, so there's no reason to rush with this. Be careful. I was able to switch to the hand only. I will either grab it with just hand or I will bring pliers. But it's not a problem. Let's grab it with the pliers and carefully pull it yeah it's coming oh yeah here it goes 
And yes, it will be nasty. I will show you right away. Again with the hand, look at that. That is a nasty situation as we all know. This is what we're dealing with. And I am very lucky that the owner caught this situation relatively soon. He said, I can smell the exhaust fumes in the cabin. What is happening? Can I bring it to your shop? So this is not the worst scenario at all. Despite the fact I said I'm happy that the owner caught it early. What do you think? If I remove that hold down bracket, do you think that uh, do you think that injector will come easy out? I will just wiggle it slowly out. What do you think? And of course, I will give you the answer immediately. Here is the hold on bracket. This is the valve cover, which I cannot pry too much on. But just putting the screwdriver there, that. injector is completely caked in and I was making sure I was in detail explaining this to the owner of the vehicle I said hey this is a long run this needs a patience this needs to be soaked that's why I'm here on Saturday I don't want to work on Saturday but I can to get to this point and also film it for you so I can soak it and the penetrating oil can be entering the tube and coming next to that injector all the way down hopefully dissolving that horror which is there from that blow by as I was applying here all around that sea foam um, I was using that mount bracket see that blackness gooey i was using it to turn the injector that little amount there and back there and back which is difficult but it was helping but it got loose finally the bracket got loose again you will see how nasty it is but it's good to remove it because i can start spraying from the other side too so here comes the bracket uh, the protrusion on the top, that's the top, right? It has the two sides. The flat is the bottom. Here is this opening. That's the hold down bracket. So. so here we are a few days later. The owner is not in rush with it. So I was soaking it. Cleaning it, soaking it, repeating it. But it doesn't matter. If you grab this carefully, there's absolutely no way to move that injector. This needs to be removed carefully with the puller to get to the number three with the puller and so on. I will undo this bolt, the nut, and the nut on the bottom right here. Oh yeah. Here you can see it how I put it and secure it to be out of my way and now we can focus on that injector and that injector it's stuck there really badly there's no way to be prying on that plastic collar of it and so on and the other parts are not accessible so I created this homemade sliding hammer puller this will screw on top of the injector and I will carefully with this little weight I will be pulling it, moving it up out of the engine. I start with installing that M14 nut on the thread, the top thread of the injector which I had capped with that plastic cap. Now, really carefully, I will start installing this homemade slide hammer and after that I will start using that weight 
doing this away from the injector, away from the engine, to carefully lift that injector out of its hole. So as I said, because the pipes are on the side for the number three, here you can see it. And let me just carefully, I hope, because the holding the camcorder, I will not do some damage, but look at it, like how it's slowly, slowly coming out. I see it. I hope you can see it. So this is absolutely incredible moment for me. I was hoping that this is the right way. Of course, I did my research. Oh, look at that fella. Look at that bugger. Oh my God, this is nasty. So I hope here in this area, I will be able to show you everything in detail. So this is how it came out. This is that homemade puller. Right? This is attachment to the injector through the nut. So this is one part. I had here this nut. Nicely on those frets. I'm really worried that I will damage those frets, correct? So you have to be careful about it. Now let's see that horror, how disgusting it is. Also make note, here is the return line miniature o-ring that I can see comparing with the other ones that's swollen. It's way bigger in the size and I immediately went when I discovered it, I immediately went and ordered a new set. So that will be replaced. I can see I didn't damage anything, this is fine. And you can start enjoying these details. Look at that, that's hard, right? You will think, oh, it, it will be sticky, no. That's hard, like rock. But that method I was using was actually really helpful. That carburetor cleaner is melting it nicely. But then it's still very sticky. This one was just touched today, I think. So look at it. It's falling off. There will be a lot of, lot of cleaning, cleaning, and not only on that injector. Here you can see the tip, especially in the engine. That's a way more difficult to clean than this area. So I hope this gives you idea what I just did, how I pulled it out. Let's go and finish this video with looking inside what is left behind over there. I prepared the light, but I'm not sure if it will work, if you will see it or not. But look at it. Look what is still left there, the goo. The camcorder will probably, the camera will not show it, but down inside, maybe you see it. Down there is that copper washer. It's there. Maybe you can see the color of it. Maybe this way, yeah? So it's still inside, that needs to be removed. That will be replaced, but first this, this endless cleaning, getting rid of this horrible stickiness, that bad stuff which is left behind. So this cleaning is important. You can see that you cannot even see the hole for that hole down bolt that's filled with that goo and that will take a lot of time to perfectly clean it because it needs to be correctly torqued. There is a whole procedure for it. Therefore, it must be absolutely perfectly clean. So a lot of challenges here, definitely. There's a lot of work still. And that's enough footage for this removal video. I definitely planning on filming for everybody how to clean it and how to correctly install that injector. So make sure you are subscribed, you don't miss any of these future videos. Thank you for watching.
and have a great day, my friend.